Mobile Home Diva, and in today's video, I'm touring the Ultra Pro 56. Can't wait to show you this video. Let's get into it. Okay, first things first, we'll take a look at the exterior of the home. This is a cute house. I really love it. One thing that I really appreciate about the Ultra 56, and I've toured the Ultra 60, but this one is made different. One thing I appreciate about the Ultra 56 is that you have an option of either the three bedroom with a den, okay? So you have a three bedroom with a den, but also if you need four bedrooms, you get to keep the den. It's slightly smaller, but you can also get this version in a four bedroom with a den. So really nice. Now we're going to go into the house and we're going to take a look at what the house offers love 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 the light color floors in this home this home is so airy and spacious to say it has a dining room area a den and a living room so when you first enter the home you have your living room here really nice bright colors in here the flooring is lighting the cabinets are light really lovely love how they decorated it to give you an idea of what you can do in the home you have your living room here it does have a ceiling fan space in this living room to keep it cute it's going to be kind of cozy you guys but again if this is what you're looking for if this is the size home you're looking for it's i, I think it's just perfect you have those three walls um that you can actually put even more living room furniture in this area and then if you wanted to use the den for watching tv and entertainment and stuff like that think about it like that but this is your living room really lovely and it overlooks the kitchen and the dining room area now typically you don't see uh so much of a eat-in dining room it's it tends to try to be separate but this gives the look of an eat-in di uh, dining area which is really lovely i'm actually admiring this table here you can either have this table round or you can drop the flaps and this can be a square table. So really cute. Really, really cute. You have space under that table. And I know this isn't about the table, but I thought it was super cute, you guys. You got space under that table for games and storage and stuff like that. I thought it was super cute. I thought it was so cute that I had to go figure out how to make it square. So that's what I'm doing now. Trying to figure out how to release the lever to move the flap <laughs> and i wasn't able to do it but as you can see from this side the flap does drop and that's how you make it square so you can drop each side all the way around i just didn't know how to do it and make it square so if you're interested in something like that then you can look for that type of table i just thought it was so cute Okay, so now that we've finished obsessing over that table, we can get back to the rest of the tour. <laughs> All right, I absolutely love the fact that they have this more of a square island in this home. It makes room for you to have uh, an eat-in kitchen or dining room area inside um, the kitchen. I love the fact that it's a lighter color than the exterior of the kitchen. You have darker, um, not really dark, but darker cabinets over here. Love the big sink. You've got a built-in microwave over here. And you've got space for a nice size refrigerator and freezer. So really lovely. Really nice. I always love looking inside the refrigerator. Because if you guys come to this location and get this home, you already have an idea of what you're looking at. You've got pendant lighting over your island. you got a dishwasher uh, that matches the stainless steel of the rest of the appliances. And you've got this huge two-sided sink. So really lovely. Really nice. You've got lots of cabinets and drawers in your island. Even open shelving under the bottom. Well, from here, it looks it looked like open shelving, but the more I thought about it, it could just be missing a drawer. So that's something you want to check out when you come to see the home. There's your built-in uh, microwave. And then you've got cabinet space, lots of cabinet space that go all the way up to the ceiling, which is always a plus. So really nice kitchen. Lots of counter space. 
open cabinets and you've got uh, plugs in here for your appliances, which is lo really lovely, especially if you make this area over here like a drink station. Um, then you can plug up your coffee maker or your teapot or what have you. Through here, you have your laundry room and your back door. I love the fact that this door closes. So if you have company and you're washing clothes, you can close that door off. You've got space for a nice size um, washer and dryer. Really wish that it was more space for uh, storage in this room. But uh, this is such a cute home and you can find more areas for storage. Now you have your den off the kitchen, nice size den. Again, um, if the living room is more of a seating area or a sit down or fancier area, then this can be like a family room or a kid's playroom, more comfortable. You can put your uh, TV on that wall right there. And it'd be great for entertaining because from the kitchen, you can see people that are seated at your dining room table, people in the living room and in the family room. So really nice. Now I'll go back in the kitchen and give you another eye, another look around to see just how open it is. Again, from the kitchen, you can see into all areas of this open space, and that is always a plus. Now off the den, you have your additional bedrooms. This is additional bedroom number one. This is a nice size bedroom. Um, again, this is just your first additional bedroom. You've got a standard closet in this room. Uh, and there is carpet in here versus no carpet being in the common area. But you do have carpet in your additional bedrooms. And this is bedroom number one. Now next to bedroom number one, you have bedroom number two. Another decent sized bed, carpeted bedroom with a standard closet. Really nice. Really nice. So just give you, just take a moment and think like who would get what room and what you could do with this bedroom, how much furniture you could fit in here, etc. Uh, if I have the specs, they'll be on the screen. But again, another decent bedroom. Next to bedroom number two, you have your uh, additional bathroom. Nice rectangular sink in here. Your tub and shower combo, cabinet space under the sink, really nice. Looks like a wide tub too as well. I know sometimes the camera doesn't always do it justice, so I try to comment on things like that. Sometimes you have smaller tubs, sometimes you have larger tubs. This is a, that was a, one of the larger size tubs, so really lovely. And here's your third additional bedroom. Yes, this is a four bedroom. I don't think I mentioned it. You could get this option in a three bedroom or a four bedroom. And this is the four bedroom option. So think about it, you guys. If you got the three bedroom, your den would be larger. And so would the two bedrooms on this side of the house. So really nice. So this is your third additional bedroom. Again, the specs are on the screen. Okay, and they are on the same side as the den, so really lovely. All right, so we'll go back through the den and let you take another look at the den or family room or playroom or whatever you decide to use it for. You'll walk back through the kitchen and right off the living room area, you have your master or your primary bedroom. And so we'll go take a look at your primary bedroom. One more look around. Really lovely home. This is a cute home. This would be good for me and my husband. Give him a man cave. Really nice. So this is a master or primary. You have a ceiling fan in here as well. Two large windows. Space for a king size bed in this room. Really lovely. And your closet is separate from your primary bathroom. So that's always a plus. You have a nice long closet in here to make room for all of the things. You can even put additional shelving halfway down that long area so that you can have a top and a bottom. Just create more storage space. You can put your pants or your bottoms on the bottom and your tops on the top. 
and use that shorter area or even for half of that have uh, additional shelving so it's just a thought then you've got your nice primary bathroom in here I always love double sinks with lots of uh, counter space you've got a deep garden tub in here really lovely you've got additional storage for towels and personal hygiene items or either decor love how they have it decorated in here really lovely and they have additional storage in here as well so you can think about what you want to do with your space your uh stand-up shower is behind the door and you do have uh seating in your shower so that's lovely all you need to do is add a rain shower shower head in that shower and you are good to go so really nice we have seen this home now we'll go back into the kitchen and we'll take a look at what it costs Okay, you guys, I hope you enjoyed the tour. Again, this is the Ultra Pro, Pro 56. It's a four bedroom, two bath, 1,474 square feet. And it starts at 105,056. Now after basic setup and delivery, it'll put you right around 128,756. So if you're interested in this home, all the information we have is down in the description box below. See you in the next video. Like the day before You're like a stone on my pillow I don't make a sound when I shut the door Your favorite music gone all the way baritone yeah. Shut the lights, go in for a